What's going on guys? It's Sean and I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about how to rent a jet ski legally. I know a lot of my jet ski business people, you know, and uh, friends, they kind of get into a lot of, you know, you know, small troubles with the law, you know, because they're out there doing a lot of stuff with the jet skis that they're not supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying but don't worry guys i'm gonna give you all the information you need so we can go ahead and uh you know get everything legalized so we don't have trouble with the coast guard or you know um the police if you want to say it like that so if you haven't already please like and subscribe to your boy's channel every like and every subscription helps out the channel it helps the channel to grow so you know i could feel motivated to bring these videos to you so please go ahead and you know like and subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so you get the videos as soon as they drop also if you want to check out some items that i use for my jet ski business to make some more money you can find them in the description below also if you're interested in cryptocurrency you could go ahead and uh, sign up for a few different um, apps, you know, where you could start your crypto journey. Um, I really like crypto. So, yeah, it's a, not a way of making your money grow. And, you know, you guys could go ahead and take advantage of it. Plus, you get free money when you sign up. Links in the description below. All right. So, guys, we're going to get into the video. So, first off, we're going to be talking about um, pretty much stuff that you need for your jet skis. And then we're going to be talking about stuff that you need personally. And also, you're, I'm going to be talking about stuff you need for your business. So all of this could click together so they could all work. And you could not, you know, get into like actual trouble with the law and stuff like that. Because I've been talking to a couple, you know, cops out there and see what, what they accept and what they don't accept. So pretty much... Um, I'm going to get into the video right now and we're going to be starting off with things you need for your jet ski. So pretty much things that you need for your jet ski. Ensure your registration for your jet ski is up to date, guys. Ensure it's not expired. Ensure you do have the sticker on your jet ski that shows it's up to date. Okay, guys, please. Also, the second thing you're going to need is a proper commercial insurance. I've done a couple videos, you know, um, referring to the uh, um, insurance that you could use. My last video I did, you know, um, pretty much talking about the items that could scale your business so you can make a little bit more money. You could go check that out. I'm going to leave it on this video as well so you could go check it out. Um, please have a proper commercial insurance for your jet ski or your jet skis when you're doing this business. So please have your registration up to date for your jet ski and also get a proper insurance. The proper insurance, it could be prime insurance, which cover 500 to $1 million in bodily injuries and damages. So please, um, if you need information on how to get a proper insurance for your jet ski, just go in the description below. I leave some great information for you guys down there. So moving on. Also, ensure your jet skis have, um, it should have pretty much a fire extinguisher, pretty much it's located inside of it, just in case of any fires. They do check for fire extinguishers. Um, if you do not have it, you could get a ticket for every single items that you don't have, okay? Also, we're going to be talking about the life vest as well. Ensure um, for your jet skis, you have life vests. If it's two person riding, ensure you have two life vests on both of these persons with whistles. This is very important. You could get a ticket for not having a whistle, guys. So pretty much ensure you have your fire extinguishers and your whistle on your life vest, okay? Um, we're going to be getting into the personal part of it for your person. So pretty much ensure if you're going to be renting jet skis out, you can't just go out there and rent them like that. You know, that's pretty much illegal. 
um, you know, because you don't have your paperwork correct. So ensure you have your livery license. I'm going to be leaving that also in the description below on how to get your livery license. Your livery license, it's pretty much the thing that you use to be able to instruct people on how to use a jet ski when you're renting it to them. Um, they ask for that all the time. A lot of people on the water do not have their livery license to, you know, operate a rental um, in the jet ski business. So pretty much you need to get your livery license. Having your boat license as well doesn't hurt. Um, that's just add a little bit more credibility to your arsenal. So also you can go ahead and get your boaters um, license. It's not recommended to rent jet skis. You pretty much need your livery license to rent jet skis, which I'm gonna leave that in the description below. So. Um, you could go ahead and do that. It's actually about 32 questions. Um, when I did it, it took me about 25 minutes. A lot of people said it take two hours. I'm not sure where they get that information from, but I did it. It was super easy questions, thing that you should know. And it's about 32 questions, you know, so you shouldn't have a problem there. And actually it was free. Somebody told me to pay, uh, you know, they paid $30 I'm like, oh, when I did it, it was completely free, so. I'm gonna be leaving that link in the description below so you guys could go ahead and um, get your livery license. That's very important, you need that. Also, for your business, you're gonna need your business tax identification number. You're gonna be needing all your tax document, you know, pretty much showing that you're paying your taxes. Um, even if you just start, you're not gonna be paying taxes at that moment, but you need to show that you already signed up and you're in tune with the IRS and all of that stuff for your business. So your taxes, um, paperwork for your business should be in order just in case they ask for that. Cause you know, I, when I was talking to one of the cops over there, they told me that sometimes they ask for that. Sometimes they don't, they pretty much ask for your livery license, the contract and the waiver and the insurance. You know, once you show them those, they'll be, you know, you'll be good as gold, but sometimes if they want to be an ass with you, you know what I'm saying, they could go ahead and ask for a lot of different stuff. So please ensure you have your business tax information together just in case they ask for that. Okay. And pretty much also you're going to need, um, as, as, as for the customer, they'll need to have their temporary borders license. Yes, guys, they need to have their temporary boarders license. If they don't have that, you could get into trouble and get a ticket or they could get into trouble and get a ticket, a $90 ticket pretty much. So it's better to do that test for $9 and be safe than to chance it and they pull you over and you have to pay $90. On the water, it's different from the street. They pretty much are a little bit tougher on water because, you know, it's a... You know, it's, it's, it's dangerous territories which you're on. You know, a lot of people don't know how to maneuver in water as they would know how to maneuver on the street. So yeah, they're a little bit tougher on the water. So yes, guys, so please ensure your customer has proper identification that they're old enough to ride. Um, people that were born um, on from 1988, they do not need to provide a temporary boarders license because they're old enough to just show their driver's license guys so please anything from 89 up they need to have a temporary boarders license for them to be safe riding the jet skis also for the customer you need to show the waiver form signed by the customer you need to show the contracts signed by the customer. The contract, it contains pretty much showing what you offer to the guests for that specific time that they're actually writing. So pretty much your contract would have things in it like, you know, um, two life vests or one life vest, or this ride was $120 per hour, you know, um, for one hour or for two hours, you know, you know, you you'll do the 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 additions, you know, as you go. Um, it should show that it you provide a whistle 
for the life jacket, fire extinguisher. Um, you should show this contract. You show your business name. You should show your, you know, your company's address. Yeah, your company's phone number pretty much ensure your contract has all of this stuff in it and the contract is just to show you know the contract between the business and the customer you know what the business offers and what the customer is signing for so yes um, moving on for the waiver form that's just you know you know what a waiver is it's pretty much to say the business is not held liable for any accidental death or any you know accidents that the customer should you know encounter out there on the water while they're operating your jet skis because you're not the one operating it so you know pretty much it's just to show that you're not liable for you know any um accidents that you know the customer may encounter out there on the water so yes and sure you have those together and um as far as um yeah, for you, ensure you have the registrations also inside the jet skis because um, they don't really like when you show it from your phone, um, you know, because you're saying it should be in the jet skis. You know, I know we're like, it's gonna get wet, but you know, try to get it in something waterproof so you can keep it inside the jet skis. So, you know, sometimes they don't really like to accept some, some of the stuff from the phone. Um, maybe the insurance they will accept um, your livery license and stuff like that they'll accept so but please have the registration for the the, the the jet skis inside the jet ski so you don't have an issue with the law enforcement um, pretty much um, that should cover you know all that you actually need to um, you know run a jet ski business and also yeah this is another thing um, people get into trouble with and I get a lot of questions on this so pretty much um, majority of the no pretty much all the docks around Miami um, which we operate from you know um, is pretty much illegal to take money um, on the docks you know on the ramps and stuff like that because it's owned by the government and you have to be at least a hundred feet away from the dock to do transactions you cannot receive money on the docks because it's government owned and it's only for the public um, what you could do you could pick up your customers from there and you know take them elsewhere you know like they would say you take them to jet ski island or somewhere out in the water on a boat or something to do your transaction or you do your transaction before they get to the dock you should only just be picking up and taking them you know to your place of business where they can ride around and stuff like that so just be very mindful of doing business on you know government docks where you know it's, it's for the public you know um you know your only thing is to just pick up and go you know you can't be you know standing around on your jet skis out there like that you know they will call you in and ask you to provide documents and stuff like that so pretty much um one of the safest way is to actually get a boat i know this is very difficult to hear but like you know you could get a boat bring your customers out and you could do it like that or keep your jet skis out in the water you know um to get this business done but you cannot do business on the ramps um it's pretty much everywhere in florida so if you're anywhere in florida just be mindful of that like you're not supposed to be conducting business at the ramps okay so please do your business before you get to the ramp so you won't have any problems you know with the law enforcement by receiving money on the ramps and stuff like that so yeah that should pretty much cover everything that you actually need just ensure you have all your paperwork ready for them uh just in case you get pulled over um you know just get all your paperwork in order that's it you know your insurance your registration livery license to instruct customers on how to use a and operate a jet ski you need your business tax 
information and stuff like that for your business also ensure on your truck this oh yeah this is another point ensure on your car or truck that you use you're using to um deliver the jet skis ensure your business name and your um your telephone number is on your um your vehicle because they want to you to show that you're a rental so they can know um just in case um you know so when they come to you and ask you for paperwork they know you know everything is legit and all of that stuff so yes also put your business name logo on your car um you can do it magnetically or you can just get it um printed out on your car so yes so ensure you have all your paperwork together your contracts together as i say your waiver forms your livery license um, your business tax information. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. All your jet skis ensure they have all the items that they're supposed to have, like fire extinguisher, your life vest, whistles, and stuff like that. You can get ticket for these for these stuff. Um, you can get ticket for these stuff if you do not have them. So again, I just want to thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'm gonna be coming to you with another video you know, about how to make uh, $24,000 pretty much with one jet ski. It sounds unbelievable, but I'll explain further. So if you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to your boy's channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bow. Thank you.